this one we've left open for visitors coming when we're closed. A model of a black house. Box How they're built. Right. We're just going into one of the original black houses. Um, apparently, the family moved out of there here in the 60s, they said, didn't they, sir? Yeah. And they've um, restored. They've restored these, replacing the thatch and uh, repairing the walls. And some of the furniture inside is the original furniture. So this is a tiny little room, this is sort of an entrance room, isn't it? And you can see the timber structure of the roof, which some of which has been replaced, is it? And then uh, just have to watch where we walk in, so we don't bump our heads. This is a long room. It's the thatch, isn't it? Yeah. For an aunt, she was bedridden. Oh. So, she could, so this is the peat that they used to have. Fire. Yeah. Yeah. So that was never allowed to go out, the fire. Most people don't mind it. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> it lives like this for hundreds of years. It's the peat here, isn't it? It just goes through the straw. That way it goes back now. Well, it's an appropriate family. It would normally be bigger and better. So what's that called? And it looks like a highly lit light, but it's a bit like a moisturized, the oil in it is a tear. And a lot of pieces won't be absorbed. It's quite smoky in here, but uh, there's some um, <laughs> no pieces of furniture there. here. Smoke everywhere. A uh, little bedpan looks so. <laughs> bed warmer. Yeah, bed warmer. The beds are made out of straw. Well, the bedpan. 
it's just a, a blanket over the top of them. We don't know what they look, and they feel a bit damp. Yeah. But look at the woods. There's quite a lot of craftsmanship on it, isn't there? Even it's just basic. Yeah. Yes. Basic bits. Yeah. yeah quite it cozy. is. Yeah. And this is the bed that the agent aunt on. They turned up at this bed round, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the bed that they put round that way for the age and aunt so she could lay in bed talking to people. Oh. And that's peat that they burn, isn't it? And that's a, the fire was never yeah. allowed to go out. So they obviously lived with this smoke all the time. Yeah. It's one of the living rooms. And uh, some of the furniture that we spoke about. And the weave. Even the wool. Yeah, the wheel. How amazing is that? Mm. Looks like they made all the furniture, doesn't it? It's all the same. And then on this side, there's. Uh, Yeah. Here's the outside of the black house that we were just inside. Fascinating. I mean, it's, it's history that you know normally you wouldn't them. see. Look, yeah. the livestock lived in there with them. Yeah. For hundreds of years, it was the custom for the people and their livestock to live under the same roof, having animals living in had the same advantages it made the house warmer and meant fewer buildings were needed so we're outside now and they're going across the little road and there's a ruined one which uh, was abandoned in the 1930s apparently and uh, you can see it's just the, literally the walls and no roof on this one but uh, this one's open all the time, when, uh, even when the visitor centre is closed, so you can walk around this bit. But, uh, as you can see, yeah. Uh, fascinating history. The old stone walls with turfed on the top. Yeah. And we can walk in the walk around the rooms, look. And you can see the size this is the stable. Hmm. In this little bit. Go through another doorway here. All very low, aren't they? Mm. Uh, what's it say on that sign down there, sweetheart? Bath? Mm -hmm. the bathroom, is it? Let's go and have a look. Fire. 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 It says B-A-T-H-A-C-H. Yeah, the other word for it is B-Y-R-E. OK. We'll have to look that up. Yeah. Oh. Room That's two. A, what room is that? Room, yeah. That's the bedroom. That's a bedroom. It's a big room, isn't it? And this it is obviously where they had the fire. Yeah, quite possibly. They had a fire there, yeah, where the stones are. Yeah, so there's mine in the head. <laughs> Duck down. What's this one? This is a barn. Barn, is it? Yeah. So this would be a, like a store then, isn't it? Yeah. Are you going to go underneath that one? Yeah, I think you can, yeah. Of course, it's even lower. I'll go down even lower on this one. Yeah, must have been short people, must not they? <laughs> These islanders. <laughs> Don't be ladylike. Are you through yet? 
Right, well, I'm going to turn the camera off so I can crawl through here. Oh. Ah, I, I had to record this, I just find it funny. I'm look, stuck. look at this little <laughs> passageway that we had to crawl through. I think people must have been a lot shorter than us. <laughs> have a new knee, please. Uh. Well, that was fun. There we are, and we're back outside again at the other end. Uh, I don't know what this bit was. So now there's a house which is just here. We'll take you around the front. And this one's a little cottage, which is all part of the uh, little slate roof on this, by the looks of it. Original furniture. It does have a 1960s vibe, doesn't it? Oh yeah. What do you reckon? I reckon that's nice still using the paint. Yeah. So this would be like a lounge. Oh, it's, yeah, sitting room, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Curtain and the windows, very cottagey. Is this the kitchen? Yeah. And a satchel hanging on the wall there. Come through into the second room. This, this is, is the what they call a two up, two down, I reckon, Sue. Yeah. And uh, oh, we've got the little uh, stove, cast iron stove, which would cook on, wouldn't they? And a mangle. Yeah. Over and there. clothes horse, look. Yeah, a clothes horse. And the uh, dining table. And what is that over there? A bed or something? I've got a bed. I'm not sure what would be what through the there. Yeah. Not sure. Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Yeah, whiskey. Got the whiskey. And we've got a rug on the floor there to make it feel warm and cosy. Yeah. Sash windows. And the. Uh, got this old sash window here. Yeah. Love the pots hanging over the mantelpiece. Under the mantelpiece there. and. The, I like, yeah. I like the sash windows. Look at the sash windows. Yeah. Those fat memories. <coughs> yeah. Where I used to live. Oh, cottage. Yeah. And you can't go through there, can you? That's it. That's what... Stone Circle Trail. Mm. Okay, so I turn right and walk on the A58 to reach Calais 2. Oh, 
we've come to the Standing Stones and there's quite a view up here. You can see one of them just around the corner. So we're here at the, I think they're pronounced Callendish Stones. So Trevor's is standing next to one. There's a trail you can go on which takes one to two hours but we don't have time for that because we're actually going to be catching the ferry back. Right, it's absolutely beautiful, the surroundings where we are, I mean it's just absolutely fabulous. There's a visitor centre that you can visit obviously. And I, I wonder why they built them here. Must be the view. Well, this one is Sue's stone of choice. 